everybody. So um, if you can't tell by the title, um, I am doing a collab from Bonnie from Harris Family Journey. Um, for those of you guys who don't know who Bonnie is, you definitely need to go check out her channel. She is just the sweetest person ever. Her daughters are adorable. She has twins. I think they're about to be three. I'm pretty sure, correct me if I am wrong. She's gonna have um, one of her videos with mine, but she's gonna have another craft video on her channel where another one of my craft videos will be on there too. So go check out that. Um, I will be doing this little craft for you guys, showing you guys how to do that so you can enjoy doing that with your kids. Um, and then she will be doing one as well. So stay tuned to watch hers and then definitely go check out her channel. I'm telling you guys, she's so sweet and she does amazing videos. She is doing beta, so she's gonna have a ton of birthday video. Um, DIY she's gonna have a ton of tags and all these fun videos that are coming up so yeah I'm definitely gonna leave her channel down below and um, tune in for her little craft that will be on this video as well and then go check out her channel and tune into the other craft she's doing and the other craft I am doing okay guys for the first craft we're gonna be doing today um, we are gonna be making a bunny rabbit are you excited Uh oh Adeline's painting on that so I can distract her for now but here's what you're gonna need for our first craft you're gonna need some scissors um, glue but I don't have any glue so we're using Mod Podge um, you're gonna need a red little um, what are these called the little poof thingies um, three of these um, what are these called? The little, um, you know those little things you can bend and stuff like that? Um, you're going to need three of those. Um, they can be black or pink. I chose pink because those are the ones I had on hand. Um, a black marker, some drawing paper. This is just white paper. And then some paint. You're also going to need um, some cotton balls. Alright, so I went ahead and got some pink paint on just a little paper. Um, just a little platter and then I have a blank piece of paper what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go ahead and paint her hand um, both of them and then you're just gonna do her handprint so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do I don't have a brush since I forgot to get some so I'm just gonna use my fingers and it, it'll come out just the same So now we have her handprints on there and we're going to go ahead and do her feet, uh, footprints too. I'm not going to show that because she's sitting in her high chair so it, it'll be kind of hard for me to film that. But you know how to just go ahead and just paint her feet and then go ahead and just stamp that on here too. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. go ahead and just cut around these um you don't have to trace around them completely you just kind of leave some edge around them these cut out these are basically going to serve as the bunny rabbit's feet and the bunny rabbit's ears you know set those to the side and go ahead and just grab another piece of blank paper and while I'm doing this I've distracted Addie by letting her paint as you can see she's gotten it all over the table but that's okay she's just having some fun distracting her while I do this because if not I couldn't do it so I'm going to go ahead and just um we're going to be making a bunny out of here. So pretty much you just have to do um, like two, um, two circles. So that's all you really need to do. So just go ahead and...
That's all you really have to do. So go ahead and cut that out. you guys what we're gonna do with this so now that you have your rabbit's body cut out you're gonna go ahead and just put some yeah it's cotton balls you're gonna go ahead and put some cotton in a bow and then um I put some Mod Podge in another in the just the lid of the little container um, you can put it on a plate or whatever and using using glue too but that's what we have so leave it there okay so now, no. what we're going to do is, she's copying me, just yes. dunk it in the glue. Yes. Yeah, and this is something that they can do. And just put it all over. And get another one. Alright, so now we have this filled up pretty much. Um, she did a good job of filling it up actually. Um, we're going to need some Mod Podge again and then you're going to go ahead and these should be dry by now. So you're going to go ahead and take these and um, glue them on as the ears and the feet. All right, yeah, it's your bunny. Now you're gonna wanna go ahead and just take a black marker or if you have the little googly eyes, you can do that, that would work even better. But I forgot to get those, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make the eyes with black marker. So now you're gonna go ahead and take the two of the little, um, and, uh, little pipe cleaners and we're gonna go ahead and cut those in half. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of measure halfway through and just cut them. And then these are pretty much going to be the whiskers. So you're just going to kind of put them like that. You really only need three. And then just twist them around um, once or twice. And then kind of spread them out so that they look like whiskers. And then you're going to go ahead and trim those up a little bit if you need to so that they don't look huge on your little bunny. All right, now that you have your whiskers trimmed up, just kind of spread them out to the right spots and you're gonna wanna glue those down. And then you're gonna wanna take your little red nose and go ahead and put some glue on that. And then just glue that right on top of there. All right, now you're gonna go ahead and take your last pipe cleaner and pretty much you can go ahead and use whatever fabric or any ribbon or anything like that to go ahead and make the little bow. I'm just gonna go ahead and just make a simple little bow with this right there and then just go ahead and glue that onto your bunny. Or not bow, but it's a tie. Just go ahead and glue that there. And there you have it. There is your little Easter um, bunny rabbit that uh, your toddler helped create. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And yeah, thanks. So for this craft, you're gonna want some paper. And I just picked pink paper. You could pick white paper, you could pick any kind of color. I picked light pink because it kind of reminded me of Easter. I'm using acrylic paint, which I know is not the best to use with kids, but I know that my girls don't put it in their mouth and they hardly even like to touch it with their hands, so I know that this is safe to use with them. Use your own judgment with your own kids. I wanted to use these because it looked like more Easter colors. You're also going to want some Easter eggs. I just have the mini ones. You could have the bigger ones. You could pick whatever. Uh, and you're just going to want some scissors for in the end. So you're going to want to fill up your Easter egg with a little bit of paint. Now 
these ones actually have holes on both sides. They don't usually. Once your eggs are full, depending on the age of your child and your child, you might want to just tape them shut. You want to make sure that your hole, the holes are open so that paint can come out of them. No, you don't want to do it? Oh, I'm a green and you know pink. You have all the other colors, Haley. Pink. No, you have it all. Look down. It's right here. I, I, I'm a yellow. You have yellow right here, Haley. Actually, color. Tap 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 Last step is just flip the paper over and draw an egg shape. And then cut it out. And then you're done.